This is Scree Hiker here. Today, uh, I want to do a little video about some of the gear that I'm going to be taking on a trip. You might have uh, heard me talk about um, a little bit of a longer walk that I'm going to be taking through the Catskills. And uh, I went online, checked out, see what some of the other people did. And it looks like a lot of people start out with a gear list and show off what, they, what they're taking. So I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Uh, we'll lay everything out and give you an idea of what we're going to do for a trip. And you know, some of the stuff we think we're going to take with us. So, follow along. So all the gear on this table is for two people. Off to the right, this is my pack on this side and all the stuff I'll be carrying. And this is her pack and all the stuff she's carrying. I'm going to go through it real quick, but i got to make it fast because i got to get this all under 10 minutes or so. So the first thing we did was we set ourselves up with some food. Okay, this is what we have for meals here. Four dinners, four lunches, four breakfast. Uh, breakfast, we like to have something real quick in the morning, so we're just going to do instant oatmeal. This is our lunches. We actually have uh, tortillas packed away. Fold them in quarters, put them into a uh, Ziploc baggie. They store pretty good like that. And then we also have a package of the tuna. And we have um, mayo. For dinner, we do ramen noodles. Okay, and the ramen are really, really easy to do. I mean, this like... What we do is we take the packet that comes with the ramen, uh, just put it to the side, we don't even use it. And then we buy Noor uh, soup mix. They got uh, dehydrated vegetables and stuff in them. And we put half a packet into each one of the bricks of ramen noodles. And what ends up happening is you boil two cups of water, put it in the bag, set it in a cozy, let it set for 10 minutes, and it all cooks. It's perfect after 10 minutes. And we got four of those. So that's it. That's what we got for dinner. We did have a great big giant gallon or two gallon bag full of gorp, which is usually a good idea, except it's extremely heavy. So what we decided to do was just make, uh, you know, personal size bags. And we brought some candy, cinnamon discs. Those are the food that we bring in on a trail. On this side, we've got some extra things, um, some more potatoes. She's basically got the same stuff that I have as far as dinners and lunches and breakfast. But she's also got a little bit extra on those days that you need some extra. And uh, she brings some uh, stuffing. She also brought a little bit of, I think she's got tea bags somewhere. Yeah, tea bags, extra coffee, and she's got the same setup. Her camp kitchen, basically all she needs to bring is something to eat out of. So this is something she can drink and eat out of. Well, usually we eat right out of the bag. But this is her drinking cup and her spork. And I basically have the same thing. All I got is a, uh, a sport to eat out of, and then we eat right out of the bags. Measuring cup and a drinking cup for my coffee and for cooking. I like to use the, uh, the MSR um, pocket rocket. This just hooks right onto here. Oh, geez. You want to turn that off before you turn it off. Just put it on there. Okay, so that's that. There we go. That was a brand new can, never opened, so. Okay, so that's what I use. This, these things fold out. This is my cook -a pot Basically all you do is boil water when you're using the uh, freezer bag cozy system. And uh, that's it for that. So that's the fuel, the stove, camp kitchen, that's all this stuff here. Also, uh, there's, a, there's bear in the Catskills. So we actually hang our food bag every night and this is our food bag hanging system just a carabiner and a, uh, a little bit of paracord um, what I'll do is uh, I'll show you how that works too I've seen something online that I think works pretty neat I'd like to like to share that with you each of us carry a lamp now these are real small lamps these aren't something you're going to want to travel by by night but in emergency if you have to walk in the night they'll work out fair enough um, basically they're for uh, Nighttime in the tent. Off, you need bug spray. This time of year, the bugs are really start getting bad. I actually considered um, getting myself a net for my hat, but didn't bother with it. Also, part of the camp kitchen here, we've got water purification tablets and the neutralizer that goes along with it. We also each carry a small um, survival kit. I've got a signal mirror with a blanket. She also has a survival blanket. She holds the first aid kit. Okay, she carries the uh, first aid kit. Um, 
she has to carry a little bit extra as far as first aid because she has contacts. So she's got extra contacts that she takes. Um, we also have, uh, she also uses the uh, drops for it too. So that's, that's for her to do. Then we also have some uh, wipes in case we need them. Toothpaste and bacitracin, says etc. but it's actually uh, ibuprofen. And uh, this is important. You get a lot of aches and pain, especially, especially us when you're trying to uh, hike trails. You got blister relief. This is basically just mole skin. You get a hot spot. You want to put that on there so it doesn't turn into a full-blown blister. And various um, bandages. She also has a uh, emergency blanket and an extra camp cloth. This is exorbitant like a chamois. When things get wet, the bottom of your tent uses to wipe it out or clean the tent off before you pack it away. It actually comes in very handy. Each of us have an extra shirt, extra long shirt, a pair of shorts, a pair of underwear, at least one extra socks, a pair of socks, and we're probably going to add to that as far as socks. Uh, this get up right here, this gear system is for a little bit warmer weather, but after taking a look at the forecast, it looks like the wind, the nights are going to drop a little bit. It's going to get a little bit colder. So we ended up, we're probably going to end up either adding a fleece or one other item to this. Um, we also took our uh, gators with us. She's got to sit there. I got to sit here. The northern part of the long path is really, really unkept portion of the trail. So what we do is uh, wear these so we don't have to wear long pants. It's very humid around here, and it's you know, just uncomfortable wearing pants. But these will let your legs breathe a little bit, but it also give you the protection when you have to go through brambles and other stuff like that. So that's that's what that's all about. Um, tent, just a two-person ultralight. Um, backpack and tent. Uh, I got my own homemade compression system on it. It actually works out pretty good to give me a little extra room. She carries the uh, stakes and the poles for the tent. So that helps uh, cut down on weight for me. Um, we each carry camp pillow. Little tiny backpack and pillow. I inherited this one from Pa. So thanks Pa. Should work out real nice. A little bit of comfort on the trail helps out. Goes a long way. She's got one that she made up. Fleece. Um, we also carry the Minimalist. Uh, it's a Marmot Minimalist. It is the Aspen. It goes down to 40 degrees. And uh, that's just about the low end that we're going to see uh, over this backpacking trip. A little bit cooler. Um, I think we'll be fine though. I don't think. I think we'll do okay. We also use the... Uh, Sleeping ground pad, put this inside your uh, sleep bag so you don't slide off the top of it and end up being useless. So those two things together, we should be okay, even if we do go down to 40 degrees. Um, this is my backpack, just a uh, backpack I picked up. Uh, I think it's designed for day packs. I got a piece of gar I got a garbage bag on the inside to help waterproof it. But it's small enough to do what we need to do over five days. I try to keep the smat packs really small because <clears throat> bigger packs obviously weigh more. This one don't have all this, the stuff on the inside or the, the support system. So it's pretty light. It works out really well for what we need. And um, each of us are carrying a rain jacket. Uh, she's got a Kelty. This is also inherited from Pa. Thank you Pa once again. This here is the perfect size for her. Not too big. Um, a lot of people uh, carry uh, big backpacks. I actually, I actually got another one that's bigger than this. And uh, the only thing of taking bigger backpacks, you carry more stuff. So I like to keep a small backpack. It makes me uh, makes me keep uh, my supplies to a limited amount. So that's it. That pretty much covers all the gear that we're going to use. Oh, Uh, that's her right there. See her? She's looking at. Are you doing that again? Right yeah, see her? She, look, she's, she's yelling at me. Again. Okay. So here we go. Let me start over. Again.